It's obvious that the first year or two of life are crammed full of developmental milestones and learning opportunities. But what about those nine months before a baby's born? Interestingly, children born in Japan and China were historically said to already be one year old. And there may be something in our way of thinking. Typically, we divide a nine month pregnancy into thirds or trimesters, each lasting three months. However, from a psychological standpoint, pregnancy is best conceptualized in a slightly different manner. Still into three parts, but these parts last significantly different lengths of time. So, let's take a look at these three stages of prenatal development. The first stage, known as the germinal stage, is often over before the mother-to-be even knows it's begun. And it's certainly done before anybody else would have any idea about her pregnancy. It only lasts about two weeks from conception, and it's in this time that the ovum implants itself in the uterine wall, and that the initial cell divides into two, and again, and again, and again. At first, the multiplying cells are non-specialized, but incredibly, even within the first two weeks, cells begin to assume the particular roles that they will later play as part of a fully formed body. The second stage is called the embryonic stage, and it continues for the next six weeks or so, taking a pregnancy through to the end of its second month. In this stage, more and more cells form for specialized purposes, such as the development of the spinal cord, which is critical for carrying reflexes and communications from the brain to the body and vice versa. At the end of the embryonic stage, the fetus is only about an inch long, but it already looks like a human, just with an extremely big head compared to the rest of the body. The heart is already able to beat, and the stomach can already produce digestive fluids, even though it's still seven months before the newborn baby will have its first meal. It's also at this stage that the fetus is particularly vulnerable to harm from external agents, termed teratogens. Commonly split into the three Ds, the most common threats to a fetus's development at this stage are drugs, including alcohol and nicotine, diseases, such as German measles, which most people are now vaccinated for, and diet, specifically malnutrition. The final stage of prenatal development is the fetal stage. Lasting seven months, this stage is the longest by far of the three periods of prenatal development. And it's in this stage that a huge amount of physical growth occurs, and the baby bump protrudes loud and proud. Bones form, hair starts to grow, sensory organs such as eyes, ears and taste buds develop to the full. And by about 28 weeks, a baby's nervous, circulatory and breathing systems are all capable of supporting independent existence should the baby be born prematurely. And every kick and turn felt by the mother-to-be at this stage of development is an exciting sign of the psychological development regarding motor control happening in the womb. It might seem strange to attribute so much to a prenatal kick or wriggle, but these movements, which can be watched using ultrasound, are a sign of rapid brain development. The baby's developing her newly acquired ability to control her own actions. And whilst the expectant mother-to-be might only be aware of the kicking, ultrasound videos also show that babies in the later stages of pregnancy are able to suck their thumb and exhibit emotional expressions like a smile. Of course, there are huge debates around when a baby becomes an individual, identifiable baby. But it's certainly clear, however you look at it, that a baby doesn't wait to be born to get that developmental ball rolling. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, please click that like button so that other people know that it's a good one to watch. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Psychology Unlocked and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.